With Salesforce Inspector Reloaded taking the world of Salesforce Chrome extensions by storm over the past year, it should come as no surprise that new functionality will keep being developed to further enhance the overall experience for all Salesforce professionals. As you might already know, Inspector Reloaded is a project which aims to continue building on top of the already solid base the OG version of Salesforce Inspector graced us with, while adding more and more functionality, meant to optimize the users day-to-day -day across the Salesforce platform, regardless if they are power users, admins, or developers. From the ability to lock in as a user in incognito mode, to moving the pop-up's position on the page and up to the recently launched REST Explore functionality, there is surely something for everybody working in the Salesforce ecosystem that Inspector Reloaded can help with. The newest beta version is no exception. Creating multiple fields or Salesforce objects can easily turn into a tedious task, especially when it's more than one field and multiple field types involved. As a reminder, the out-of-the-box option includes clicking on Object Manager, clicking or searching for the object you're going to create the fields on, clicking on Fields and Relationships, clicking on the New button, selecting the field type you're going to want the new field to have, clicking Next, naming your field, adding any description or help text as necessary, clicking next, deciding on the profile or permission set that field permissions should be added to, clicking next again, choosing either the layout or dynamic forms if they are enabled that the field should be added on, then either clicking save or save in new. Question is, what if you need to do this for five new fields? Well, that would take quite some time. The newest contribution to Salesforce Inspector Reloaded, courtesy of Santiago Paris, will significantly reduce the time you spend on this task, regardless of the number of fields. Let's see it in action. The button for Field Creator, currently in beta and waiting for your feedback, is readily available on the Salesforce Inspector Reloaded panel. In comparison to the out-of-the-box option, after selecting the object that the fields are to be on, you can simply start typing the field names. The API name will automatically be defaulted to Pascal case, and for each row, you can select the field type. At this time, lookup formula and a few other types are not yet available for selection. The Options button includes the additional information such as description and help text and if the field is to be required. For text fields, here is where you can set the length, but for pick lists, here is where you'll be able to set the values. While you can click the Permissions button for each of the rows, it is recommended to use this button last, as while it can help you add, read, or edit permission to both permission sets, as well as profiles, there is an option to apply what you choose for one of the fields to all the others, removing the need to manually repeat the same steps for every row. If you already have the fields you need in a CSV file, you could simply import them using the dedicated button then tackle the options and permissions only. After reviewing your entire list of fields, you just have to click on Deploy Fields and your new fields, options and related permissions will be created right into your sandbox or developer edition. Because yes, we are not creating fields directly in production. Just how easy was that? Try out Salesforce Inspector Reloaded beta version yourself and let us know your thoughts on the new field creator in the comments below.